we need an empty box something like this i am using a two compound epoxy box which was lying around so i thought of using this to house all the electronics you can find the link in the description for the box next we need to make a hole for the charging port at the top so using a drill i just make a hole in the top we need to make one more hole for the on off switch Next we need 3 4 volt LED strips. The link for all the materials is in the description so do check them out. We need to remove the wires from 2 LED strips and cut one of the LED strip into half. We will trim the battery terminals from one of the LED so that the wires can be taken inside the box. So this is how we are planning to place the LEDs on the box. So we will place the LEDs to mark a hole. So at the mark position we will make a small hole so that the wires can be taken inside. Next we will apply some double sided tape on the back of LEDs which will be helpful for sticking the LEDs on the box. Now we will pass the LEDs wire to inside the box. After proper positioning, we will stick all the LEDs. Now the LED strips are properly fixed on the box. Next we need to do the wiring for our LEDs. So we will make a parallel form of connection. Red wire for all positive terminals and black for the negative. The circuit diagram for our LED lamp is shown in the description. You can do the wiring very easily using the circuit diagram. In case of any doubt do comment. Now our positive terminals are connected to the LED. Next we will connect the black wires to the LED. Now we have completed the LED's wire. Next we need two lithium ion 18650 batteries. These are 3000 mAh each. We will connect the batteries in parallel. Next we need a charging module. We will stick the charging module using a double sided tape exact to the charging port which we had drilled earlier. The positive terminal of battery is connected to the positive of charging module and the negative terminal of battery is connected to the negative of charging module. Next we need a 6 pin push on off switch with a cap. So we will solder the switch onto a small PCB. Using a multimeter we need to find 4 terminals which gives us the continuity. So when the switch is on, 2 terminals should pass the positive current and the remaining 2 should pass the negative current. After finding the respective terminals, we will connect the positive LED wire to the positive terminal of the switch and similarly the negative wire from the LED to the negative terminal of switch. Using a double sided tape, we will stick the switch to the box. Next we will connect the positive terminal of switch to the positive terminal of charging module and the negative terminal of the switch to the negative terminal of charging module. Now we finished all the wiring as per the circuit diagram. Next we will check the LED lamp. So when we trigger the push on off switch, we can see our LEDs are glowing. We will also apply some super glues at the corner of the box so that the box closes and seals perfectly. Now our LED lamp is completely ready. Using a USB cable, we will charge our LED lamp. So right now you can see that the red LED is lit so that our LED lamp is charging perfectly. 
Now I am going to show you the brightness of our LED lamp. So in a room when the light is turned off, our LEDs are powerful. Yes, it's so bright that it can lit up the whole room. So I guess everyone like this video. So do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.